Hello, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I know we don't say the battle part because it's not that important. We're going to be completing the, the hero side. Hi, Tails. So we are on the Space Colony arc. We're near the end. We got our fake emerald. We're going to blow this bad boy up. Are those the other emeralds in there? I guess maybe on the... Uh, I guess on the dark side, you get to see a bit more of like maybe the Chaos Emerald collection stuff. I don't don't really remember all that much. Outside, okay, so the outside uh, of the arc, this is where Knuckles is going to be correct because we, we saw, yeah, Knuckles, he jumped out of the ship because his Master Emerald was scattered once again. So we get to start off with quality because we know Knuckles gameplay, it's the gameplay that we crave. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can you can you can jump higher than normal here I I guess it I mean you normally jump pretty high in video game so it's not super duper pretty surprising now this level I remember this level being hard you can't I know um, I remember this level being hard and being here for a long time as a wee lad what the hell is this down here um, but I mean I've I've proven that I'm just not terribly good at the the knuckle side of of gameplay. Um, and I just, I just remember being here for a long time. I do not understand what these are just yet. Uh, perhaps there'll be a key of some sort we need to bring. It says they see, no, it says 04. Or, you know, maybe a thing that looks like a 4. Yep, if you get hit, it, it'll hurt. Thank you, Elmo Chow. Um, yeah, I, I remember just spending a long, long time uh, in this level. Um, I think Rouge has a a space uh, one as well. I might be thinking first, oh, you can just punch those meteors around. That's that's fun. Um, just wanna, oh, it, it blew up. I thought it was going to be like a key uh, to do something important. But no, you, you, just, you just punch it. It blows up. There's nothing much uh, to it. I uh, should probably start getting a move on. Um, and try well, I was going to say, I should get a move on and go towards the um, <laughs> towards the emerald, but I mean, like, the, the BPs, the BPs aren't happening yet. Until the BPs happen, I will not know where to, oh, no, I wanted, I wanted to punch the thing. Um, until we start getting BPs, I don't really know where to go, so I guess we'll just, you know, run around, find new stuff. I, nope, it's like glass or something right there. There is a rabbit here, though. We'll take the rabbit, thank you very much. I would like to see more vials, because we do want to power up uh, um, Sharon as well. You know, Zippy's been getting all the all the animals. Uh, will perhaps end up being more powerful to two children at this rate. Can I jump down here? Before I jump down there, uh, let's just continue climbing up. Uh, you know, no reason to go and explore somewhere where we don't have the emerald uh, sensey thing telling us to go at the moment. Uh, so, you know, once we know, like, we'll, we'll go down there if we need to, is, is what I'm saying, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to go to places. Uh, we haven't been, see what we can find, and uh, that's fun that the crates were floating like that. Because we're starting to get a little bit more into the uh, actual outer space bits. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a tell there is for the meteors. So I remember I remember being here for a very long time as a wee lad. I don't remember the meteors, like, just totally, like, destroying me. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a lot of, uh, of a, you know, a big tell. It just seems like they're suddenly upon you and there we go we made the jump this time um but you know i have yet to be hit by one i think maybe maybe one hit me and i just forgot um so maybe they're not actually all that bad maybe they they tend to show up in set locations uh we can't punch through this um yeah dropping the crusher doesn't actually make the thing drop there is a rocket over there will this go back up i oh yep there we go it's just you know not really a good way to dodge that like um, I'm not sure if it's because we're, we're higher up now. Oh, that's interesting. A camera angle just for that. I mean, it, it, oh, shoot. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what that, that laser noise was. I heard the laser noise. Wasn't sure what it was, uh, but it, I guess it was the the thing exploding. No, no, no. I, I don't. I, for a second, I thought it might have been the, um, <clears throat> the asteroid uh, meteor exploding, uh, but it seemed like it had something to do with the, the rocket there. It's interesting that that got its own like little camera angle though. That hasn't really been a thing in the game, so someone must have been very excited about that. Okay. Oh, mm, yep. S starting to starting to remember the, the difficulties of the level. Uh, I mean, we didn't really start getting hit until we, we came up here though. So maybe the uh, maybe the meteors do just get worse the the closer you get to the top. See, I mean, it makes sense. You know, they they spawn in closer, uh, but it also is a pain in the ass. It sucks. Uh, is this not going to go up? 
How do you make it go up? Do I need to flip the switch again? Oh, you flip the switch to make it go back up. Or was that just coincidence? Not entirely sure. Okay, well, it, it, it worked this time, so it probably had something to do with the switch. Luckily for us, there are some rings here, uh, so we'll be able to get up here. Hopefully, don't just get sniped by a meteor immediate, oh, immediately. Get my ring back. I want to I wanna kill this guy, because this, this guy was very annoying uh, for Tails. He even has a laser, so he, he makes his, his tentacles come out and, and get you it. But if that wasn't enough, he had a laser. Those chaos-like enemies are motherfuckers. Very, very powerful, very powerful, very tough. And we still have not gotten a, uh, like an emerald, like, BP. Uh, oh, wait, no, there was a seal there. I would have liked to have gotten a seal. Holy shit, this level's huge. Is this, like, oh my god, this level is very big. I only remember the lower part of this level. Um, so it's weird to climb up here, and there's just stuff. Is Meteor Herd, like, I'm guessing, just the outside of Ark? The, the, the space colony Ark? Uh, whereas, like, um wherever Tails was in the last episode. Uh, Eternal Engine, that's what it was called. Uh, Eternal Engine was more like the inside. I mean, I guess Tails saw a bit of the outside of it. Uh, you know, very Death Star-y. Uh, I'm sure if it's intentional. Um, oh, I love the Upside Down buildings. The Upside Down buildings, I remember those. I more so remember them in Sonic's level. Uh, I guess maybe once you get higher up, you're probably getting closer to where, where Sonic does his business uh, in the Space Colony arc. Because, hey, I, I don't have to tell you, but Sonic... Sonic's gonna have a level in the Space Colony arc. Who, who would have guessed? And damn, really, there's no Emerald BP. We climbed all the way up here, and there's still no Emerald BP. And I don't think we're going to be able to get any higher than this. Like, just looking at this building right here, I don't think Knuckles climbs, like, upside down. So, damn, we climbed all the way up here. Still have yet to find uh, an, an Emerald piece. Um, I mean, I guess we have more to do. It's interesting that we're, we're seeing, like, uh, Tails' like, enemies uh, in this Knuckles level, like... I mean, I guess it's, you know, whatever. We still haven't figured out what these do. They're like a warp of some sort. I assume that there was a thing that we had to... Nope. I assume there was a thing that we had to do to, like, you know, like, bring a moonstone here. Uh, and then doing that would, you know, give us a thing. Maybe activate something. Maybe the, those are the set location... Nope. Those are the set locations for the, the emerald to be hanging out in. Uh, but we have yet to get a BP and that just... You know, the seals are floating in the air. It's space. It's not It's not a video game glitch. It's supposed to do that because it's space, uh, actually. And there we go. It feels so good to kill those Chaos guys because they kind of, kind of very powerful. I mean, I already said, you know, they are motherfucker. Um, so so you, you, you know how I feel. Maybe I should be sticking here. Maybe there's a thing. Uh, it may not be the emerald, but maybe something useful. I don't know. Yeah, damn, we've been like all... Well, I guess there was a bit of the... Um, the ground part that I don't think we saw. And this guy attacks so quickly, I can't even, like, collect my ring. Um, and now we're dead. Damn, where's that? That's gonna leave us at the bottom of the level, too. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, I mean, I guess we, we hadn't found anything, so it's not that big a deal. Oh, you know what? I, I never thought about it, but uh, I assume Knuckles' checkpoints are finding the, uh, finding the emeralds. Once he finds an emerald, it probably is like, oh, yes, this is your checkpoint. Um, hmm. Very interesting. We haven't found anything in this level. Um, I, I'm guessing that there's going to be stuff up there. Maybe it was just like Emerald 2 and 3. Uh, and going up there was, you know, kind of a waste of time. Maybe the first Emerald's somewhere down here. And, and I just didn't explore the, the ground floor enough before taking off. And I still don't really get these monitors. Because they, they, they kind of get... They kind of give you hints. But, like, I'm assuming that, like, they don't, like... Like, yeah, like, this one's... Oh, it was, it was C... It was see-through, uh, because, like, I guess just camera angle stuff. Uh, they, they, the hints they give you are where the, like, you know, like, oh, the emerald, like, just now, like, the emeralds uh, by small herd of meteors, or the fast-spinning meteor, like it said. Um, but I, I don't know if they're tailored in such a way that, like, they're telling you this is a location where it could be, or if it's, like, this is where it is in your version of the game. So I assume that, um, I assume that there are, uh, uh you know, the emerald things are randomly, like, split up. And I'm just enjoying the, the footsteps. The footsteps, yeah, the footsteps just disappear with time. It's, oh, no, no, they, they, they disappear with amount of footsteps. It isn't time. Uh, it would have been nice, actually, if they disappeared uh, with time as opposed to the amount of footsteps. Like, I mean, a lot of video games, they do one or the other when it comes to footsteps. Either amount of time and then they disappear or 
uh, amount of steps. Uh, but amount of time would be nice since those, those footsteps were like, I, you know, it was on glass, so it was like, oh, like the, I guess the heat of your feet is what made it, like against like the, the cool space glass. I'm guessing that's the idea, and I would love to find a ring so we don't just, you know, get murked immediately from <laughs> falling rock. Um, we, we got a chow thing, which is nice, because, uh, you know, it's always nice to go see our friends, the chow, and our, by our friends, I mean our beautiful children, excuse me. Um, uh, but I I wanted rings. <laughs> That's where I was going with that, was I just wanted some rings. Uh, and damn, like, is there really nothing? We have not gotten a single thing. Uh, what do you have to say? Just telling us about the, yeah, the falling meteorites, yep. Yeah, I still don't understand what's up with these. Maybe I should be digging. Is this the 04? Yeah, it's 04. So this is where we started, and we've done a complete loop at the bottom, and still have not gotten a, a meteor beep beep beep. Uh, so I'm not really sure we, where we should be going. Like, we, we, we've we uh, been around the entire level and have not gotten, like, any beeps. So there must be a location... Uh, oh, camera went right there. There must be a location that I'm unaware of. Like, down here. Uh, I mean, we found a penguin. One of those delicious space penguins. The tastiest penguins come from space. Because space, very cold. I, It's colder than where penguins normally come from, which make them better, I assume. I mean, that, that's probably how it works. And uh, it's just crazy. We walked around this entire damn level and not a, not a single beep. I don't know if when we died, it like re-rolled the, um, the possible emerald locations. And this time I'm gonna just drop in here. Um, and there was nothing in here. Try breaking the ro rotating. Uh, wait, I didn't see what I said rotating meteorite, but then I said something platform and I didn't get through reading it. Um, luckily, we can just, um, you know, climb up the wall. It's not that hard to get out. Oh, and there's even a rocket in here. Damn. Oh, there was an easy way to get up here and I just totally, like, missed it. Uh, but damn, yeah, where should we be going? Oh, well, I guess there's, there's some, wait, what kind of bird is that? I saw a bird flying. Was that a bird or was that a meteorite? Maybe it was a meteorite. I'm gonna fly back and see if I get it in the camera angle again. Uh, oh, nope, not that. Yeah, whatever it is, it's gone. But there was like an orange bird. There it is. No, there is totally an orange bird up there. I'm, I'm going to collect the bird. I desire the bird. We'll have the bird. The bird will be mine. Oh, it's, it's, I think it's a phoenix. I totally missed it. Um, I mean, it, it looks it looks like fire. I'm doubting it's actually like burning fire phoenix. But I'm guessing that's what's going on. The idea of this bird is that it is probably a, a phoenix-like uh, bird. I don't know if there's like a real bird that's similar to the phoenix. Because, um, you know, I, I'm just not smart about birds. My brain does not have the bird knowledge in it. I don't even know how to grab this damn bird. Um, I can't believe I've missed it this many times. Uh, I mean, maybe I should just time it better. Timing, not one of my virtue. Well, not virtue. I'm not, not, not great at timing things. Yeah, because Knuckles very slightly descends when he jumps and I know I want to jump into it when it's like coming at me but for some reason I cannot it's just flying around in circles and I missed it like what a dozen times at this point how have I missed it this many times come to me bird please come to me bird that's what I, I forgot I forgot to say please to the bird that's what I was doing wrong I was being an asshole I'm sorry a beautiful phoenix bird I, I was being rude I should have showed you a little bit of uh, dignity uh, maybe, maybe the Phoenix would have, you know, came to me earlier and we wouldn't have had any issues. I cannot believe we have not, <laughs> not gotten a single beep. How have we not gotten any beeps anywhere in this level? This is so weird. Um, like this is the only like part of the level we really haven't explored, right? Like this, like, I guess housing look, oh, finally, thank God. Uh, this like housing area is like the only area we hadn't explored. Um, is it not under here? Is it under here? Does the enemy have it? Like, it's blinking red, so it can't be far. Um, so maybe maybe the enemy has it. Yeah, it looks like the enemy. No, enemy doesn't have it. But it is red over here, so... Oh, nope. Well, it's gone. We'll never find it ever again. Damn it. Uh, how do we... How do we get back up there? I guess we just gotta do it the way we did it the first... Oh man, we're gonna have to do this entire climb again. Uh, that's... This, this is such a weird level that they have, like, this, like weird platforming challenge but if you like go to the bottom there's just a way to skip all of it and then there's the, this like rocket thing right here oh did i not i don't think i activated the ball nope didn't activate the ball again there we go 
No, no problem. By that I mean there's been there's been several problems, and we're just going to ignore them. And I'm going to get away from that guy because that guy kind of kicks my ass. Uh, okay, so where was it? It was that one over here, right? Oh no, please. Uh, these have rings. I think that's the platform we were on. Yeah, here we go. So it's 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 like red while we're in here. Can it be like inside of this? Can I drill claw break that? I, I mean, I did drill claw break it. It didn't happen. Oh, they can be. Oh, they can be. Yeah, in these these meteors. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to I'll have to remember that. Um, and now it's time to go back on our exploring, see what we can find. And it's interesting because we also haven't seen uh, like I mean we've seen that one chow box, but in addition to uh, the meteors, which are not the meteors, the the emeralds, which you know very easily to overlook if they're like hidden in an object. Um, so without the the beep -de beep. Oh, it's an emerald. How the hell did we get this one? Um, well, obviously we're going to need uh, a rocket or something to break it. So I'd love to see what's like outside of this, like facing towards it. Like, is there a rocket anywhere? Huh? These have a hint for us, like floating st stone above a moon. No, we we know that there's an emerald in here, and that is our third emerald. But how do we get to it? It's in a cage. Maybe there'll be something in one here. Um, tip of the arc. Oh, nope. Maybe there'll be some. How did, wait, we were inside. How did that? Mm, mm. Uh, okay, well, I guess I guess the idea was it hit the roof and then like the explosion, like radius clip through, which you you know, not entirely how it works, but also like the way it would have actually worked is very com complicated because you know, assuming that these are strong enough to protect from the meteors, the meteor would have hit it. The explosion, like let's say these these containment like pod things are strong enough to take both an impact from the meteor and the explosion and like. It's no problem for them. Like, sure, okay. Uh, but, you know, assuming that, like, the, the the impact of the meteor... Like, these can't take it, which would be a bad location to put your, your pods that can't take meteor impacts in the meteor herd. Um, which, I mean, you know, I guess we could assume that it got its name afterwards or something. And it wasn't just a very bad planning. It was just unfortunate. Um, you know, the meteor would hit it and then, like, break the... Why is the climbing not working? Um, I think I'm, I think I'm jumping. I think I'm like tapping the jump button like after I land on the wall. Um, oh no, I'm just I'm falling off. Um, maybe these aren't just meant to be climbed. Um, you know the, the the meteor would like cut through or you know like slam through at the impact would like make a big hole and then the meteor would fall in. Um, but you know it's a video game, so they they simplify the the physics for that. The thing hits, it does its explosion. The explosion has just like a radius of effect and it just clips through the thing. Like I guess they could have set it up so oh the explosion doesn't clip through the thing. Um, but it wasn't set up that way. Uh, and talking about it at the length I've talked about it is incredibly pointless. And I don't know why I did that. Um hmm. how are we going to break the knuckles? Uh he was like kind of just chilling there. Uh, how are we gonna break that cage? We don't have the ability to break a cage. I don't think I've I don't think, thanks. I don't think we've missed a power-up. I don't think they're, like, in the last Knuckles level, we just got the, um, the hammer gloves that allow us to break those, um, uh, the, the, like, metal crates. I don't think that they would immediately then be like, oh, here's hammer glove level two. It's even better. And I'm going to kill you just because it can make me feel better. Uh, actually, what do we have? Uh, we'll lose a seal if we pick up your vial. I will. I'll go ahead and pick up the vial. Um, so you know, so we can bring Sharon some some delicious treats uh, because they deserve treats too. Uh, maybe maybe there's something on top of this uh, platform there. Um, maybe we can break uh, the cage, and I just need to get on top of it and do like um, the drill claw down uh, would be the idea. Because yeah, this is going to take us upward. Oh, I see a seal. Uh, seal would get rid of a pink vial. I don't know what the actual colors for the vials are. Like with the animals, it's very easy to assume which ones. Oh, we can't even get above it because it's like on the ceiling and we can't break this. Oh, oh, that didn't work the way I expected it would, but it worked and it's done. So cool. Um, interesting. I, I mean like that's some like video game ass like logic there. Like, oh yes, you know, the, 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 you break one crate and the crate falls. But the Master Emerald clips through the crate? That, it's very video gamey. It worked, and it's done, so we're gonna say okay. And it, it, that's fine, actually, and we're, I don't wanna fight. I don't need it. Um, it's not 
blinking yet, so maybe the last emerald uh, is on the like the ground level, but I'm going to just keep flying around here since we're already up here. We might as well check around here uh, before we skedaddle, uh, and by not killing these enemies, I will be able to tell uh, where we started uh, and make sure we're not doing a complete loop. Um, which, which was the, the, my plan, and not just because I was being lazy and didn't want to uh, fight all the enemies here. Now, is this the tippy top, or is there... Yeah, it looks like there's another layer just above us. So let's go ahead and just climb over. I want to see Knuckles climbing. Like, I get the idea of him climbing as him, like, punching his, like, his necks into the wall, and it lets him, like, rock climb. Um, but him... Watching him climb... Watching people climb is very interesting, because it's a, a very intricate process that can go very wrong very quickly um so it's just it's just interesting to see and is this it, it's just up here so i'm so glad that i didn't jump down oh that was so weird the way the the thing is mapped to his head so since knuckles is spinning it's just like spinning around his head that's cool um and also i mean, I mean we're done now um so we were here for like what 19 minutes since i think we were here for seven something minutes so probably closer to 20 um in rank I E, interesting. Interesting that we got rank E for 12 minutes here. I mean, I guess I had two rings. Um, I probably had a lot of other rings. Uh, in uh, Death Death Chamber, was that his last level? I think Death Chamber was his last level. Um, and I also cannot believe I, I made it five episodes of a Sonic thing without <laughs> thinking about um, Tyson Hesse's extremely good like Sonic comics uh, from back in the day. Am I holding a vial? I think I'm holding a vial. Um with like nipples, the the enchada, and wait, what what are they called? In, in, in echidna, that's what they're called. Echidnas. I was like, I was like, echidna. I was like, that's not right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's echidna. Uh, I don't, you know, I always, I, I like as a kid, like I completely unironically was like, oh yeah, ni uh, nickels. Um, let's call them nickels. Uh, nickels would be a cute name actually. Um, knuckles the enchilada like completely unironically it's like yeah enchilada that, that's that's what that word is uh, now we need to be careful because our, our our boy is looking very cool um like the tusks bunny ears could be nice um well we got rid of the the pig hands got like some pink pink hands pink pink feet uh like that Ooh, could we get eyebrows from does the the um did that get rid of your wings how did that get rid of your wings I mean, it's just change your wings. I, I I would love to get the penguin's eyebrows. The penguin's eyebrows would be very powerful. Um, we could get ram horns. I'm not too concerned about getting ram horns because I like the ram horns, but obviously we already have a ram horn child. Um, what other things do we have? We just we just got the ram. We got the bunny. Uh, I. I'll go ahead. I should have given the ram first because that way, if we got ram horns, we could have overwritten it with, with um, bunny ears. Uh, and of course, of course, it, it had it had to pick the one I didn't want it. To, I, I was like, "There's no way it gives us two, you know, head things at the same time." Can we get wings? Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Um, and the tail. I, I would have liked wings as well. I think we're out of animals now. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. We we made you a little less cool. I'm glad you still have your your uh, your tusks though, but. I, I like your like your big wings from before, uh, and I'm not sure because what we need to do uh, with like the seed. Oh, can I not pick up the seed? I think I can still pick up the seed. I don't I don't know how to plant the seed. I probably should uh, look that up. I'm not sure if it's just a time based thing. Um, if there's something, did you trip? Are you okay? No, there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should go get. I, w I want uh, uh, the the hero fruit tree seed thing. Oh, we're gonna fight Rouge. I do not remember fighting Rouge, but I guess it's time uh, to fight Rouge. Yeah, these two haven't, like, interacted at all since, like, the beginning of the game. I guess it makes sense to fight at the end of, like, you know, they're, they're both trying to collect the emeralds, and by the end, her ears are so floppy. Um, I, I assume, you know, like, you know, it makes more sense to, uh, after having collected all the emerald pieces, to fight at the end, and then, like, oh... Since we've both been collecting pieces, now we can, like, winner can, winner gets, oh, gets all. I don't remember this part of the fight. Do I need to glide, or do we need to fight in the air? Do we, we probably need to uh, stop fighting on here and start fighting, like, on the balance beams. It's, this is actually kind of a neat uh, idea for, like, a boss fight. Because, you, you know, a lot of boss fights, most video games, boss fights just take place in big open arenas. So it's kind of fun to fight on this weird 
uh, structure like this. Um, very reminiscent of the JoJo battle against Superfly, uh, which is that's a cool one. I like I like part four. Part four is very very fun. What the hell is Rouge? Did she like fall into the lava? Oh no, she's been like flying around. Okay, so she was flying around. But I need her to face me, because I can't attack her in the air. I mean, I guess I could run into her. I'm not sure if that would let me hurt. Oh, shit, she just drop attacked me, and I don't have any rings, so I should probably get... Wait, is she collecting rings? I, I didn't know that the uh, the AI could do that. Um, I mean, I just heard the ring collection sound, so maybe she didn't... Oh, the floor's back. Maybe she's on the floor? Yeah, she's chilling on the floor again. It's, yeah, it sounds like they collect rings. Which is interesting, like, it doesn't seem to heal them, so it must, like, um, just hurt you via, like, taking the rings off the table for you. Yeah, yeah every time, I'm not sure how we're gonna hurt her, because every time I punch at her, she, like, counters with, like, a combo, and then, like, it just, like, um, uh, balances out, I was trying to remember, oh, wait, what? They have special attacks? Do we have special attacks that I haven't known about? I'm guessing it's just because they're a boss fight, so she did something weird. Maybe Rouge gets a power-up uh, that does that. Maybe there's power-ups that we missed. I'm guessing there's power-ups we missed. Oof. Yeah, she's doing some weird, like, palm attack. Um, like, I've been moving whenever she keeps doing it. I've been moving whenever she's been doing it, so I've just been not getting hit. How did that not hurt her? Just seeing her, like, flop around, like, from the sky stuff is, is, is weird, because it's like... Oh, shit, I keep falling for that that attack. She's gotten that... Oh, am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Um, I need to, to, to learn that I can't get beneath her, because if I get beneath her, she's just going to... Uh, whatever her version of Drill call Plot is. Oh, she tried trying that, like, darkness attack. Did I hit her? Yeah, it seems like uh, we both we both hit each other there. Uh, if we could just sit here and fight, that'd be great. Don't want to be underneath her, because uh, we know being underneath her means I'm just going to get hit. She must do the bomb thing if we're, like, too far off screen, so it's trying to force us to, like, get close to her again. I mean, of course, I want to be close to- oh, she's just trying to- she's waiting for me to come so she can drop claw me. And then she just flew over and did it! Damn! Rouge is very powerful. This is definitely the hardest version of the, um, the, you know, other playable character fight we've seen. Um, you know, all the others have been pretty simple for the most part. Uh, like, you know- Eggman, you just blow him to hell as tails. <laughs> you just lock onto him. It's, n it's like no problem at all. Where the hell is she? She normally ends up in a corner. Um, nope, nope, she's doing her attack. Oh, I thought she was doing her attack. She said, here I come. So I assume she was doing her bomb attack again. Um, but she just seems to keep ending up in these corners. Nope, she's going to drop claw me. Where the hell is she? I need to be careful because I think she's above me. Is she doing her bomb? Nope. She keeps making the noise that she's doing the bomb attack, but not actually doing it. I wonder if there's just, like, certain criteria where she doesn't do that, or if the sounds aren't... Like, I'm assuming that her saying that was linked. What did she say? Blood wave? Can't be blood wave. Oh, I, I shut up, because I was like, I need to hear what she says. Um, where is she? She's pink! How can I not find her? She is pink! She's pink and I'm mostly- oh, the floor is back, so she's probably on the ground. Okay, let's let's end this. Please come over here so I can end this. And by that, I mean you're, you're going to get a hit off on me first. Oh. Oh, thank God it's over. <laughs> the, the fight kind of sucked. Her ears are so floppy. So much physics on those ears. Well, all right. Yeah, that was the most difficult version of uh, the other player fights. Oh, shit. Are we going to drop- no, we, we're not going to drop her in the lava. It'll be fine. Uh, because, you know... That means she would die and be dead. She doesn't die and be dead. She continues to live. Um, so Knuckles isn't going to kill her. Oh, it's it's funny because they, they're both saying the same thing. Oh, and now he saves her. That's even better because now they're like, no, Knuckles is hero. And he helped, he helped her when she fall. What is he holding on to? Oh, I see. I I couldn't see the um <laughs> the thing he was actually holding on to that that balance beam. Uh, it looked it looked strange. Oh, Knuckles. Oh shit. She she's on to Knuckles. She knows that Knuckles is a, a hand-holding creep, a complete sicko bastard. 
Batgirl. No matter what you say, it sounds crazy. This cutscene feels like it's been going on for too long. Um, at least she gave over the things. Yeah, echidnas, yeah. I can't believe I said echidna earlier, trying to think about what it is. Because um, I did completely unironically think it was enchilada as a kid, because maybe I'm a little dyslexic? I don't know. <laughs> if, if doing Let's Plays on the internet has taught me anything, it seems like I might be a little uh, dyslexic. It's, oh, and I, I like that he apologized. Now they can be friends. Um, although, like, Rouge tends to hang out with Shadow more than, like, Knuckles. And I hate... I hate the way her body's shaped. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Rouge. I'm sure you're cool and all, but your body shape fucking sucks. Oh, man. There were some real horny people uh, working working on this game. Crazy gadget. Hurry and find Eggman. Yeah, so... Oh, oh that's not the, the right button. Oh, it shot like this gooey ice beam. That's interesting. Uh, we haven't seen an enemy do that, and it seems to last long enough uh, to be annoying. I... Don't know if um, jamming on the buttons uh, makes you break out faster. It's a video game, so I assume it does. And please give me the, the vial. I would like the vial. I need to go home and feed my precious baby, my precious baby child. Uh, ch childs. I, I have two of them, and I, I love both of them and care for both of them. I, I know I was a bad dad when when I said that I had a favorite, and I was going to embrace that I have a favorite. I should probably ask that one child too here. Oh, I just pressed B. I see. I was, I was trying to figure out how to interact with it and didn't think, like, oh, I should just use the, the action button that does most things. Interesting. So I don't really remember this level. I remember, like, Tails and uh, Eternal Engine, uh, but I don't remember this level, like, at all. Like, I thought Sonic went to uh, somewhere different um, for, like, his final level. Because um, I think there's 16 levels in the game. I, yeah, I think that's what it was. Because we were doing three levels an episode, and then I did four on the other one. Uh, to make sure that we, like, you know, had about an even amount, and I assume that these last levels would be pretty long. Like, we've only done one, uh, and this recording's already been going on for 30 minutes. Uh, I mean, granted, we we started with uh, a Nucky level, and those Nucky levels tend to be pretty long. Oh, that was something to slip under. I didn't even realize. I thought that was a switch. Nope. Please grind. Please grind the other way, Sonic. Oh, damn. This, the gravity is messing with my head. Um, it's not controlling the way I think the way I think it would. Right, no, okay, so these aren't spikes. They're like underneath the floor. There's like glass there. Um, okay, so we're going to change the gravity. We're going to change the gravity this way because I think there was like lava and shit beneath us. So I don't want to like fall into the lava and shit. Whatever. What? The, if, what why is Eggman giving me shit? Like, like is he like want me like, hey, we, we need to fight. Hurry up, bro. Like, is that, is that what he's, like, doing? Like, what, what does he mean in time for games? He has this big elaborate base that I'm going through. So, like, you know, maybe if he didn't want me to waste time in a big elaborate base and he just wanted to fight, he shouldn't have made the big elaborate base and should have just made his boss fighting area. Also, speaking of boss fighting area, I like how I started off the... Oh, fine, if you're just going to be electrocuted, I'm just going to run away from you because I don't have any rings. Oh, shit, that is so many. That's so many of these things. And then I, of course, you know, rocket myself into hell and then die. How else was that going to go? Um, I, I like that I started that the the Rouge boss fight by being like, oh, this is interesting because it's not a traditional, like, boss fight arena that, you know, the, you know, it wasn't just, it wasn't a traditional arena. It was, it was like a fun, like, uh, God, what do you call those, like, big towers, like, signal phone tower things, power tower who who knows what anything does but you know i i, I complimented it for being a, a an interesting design for a boss fight and then complained the entire boss fight of like oh hey not being able to find her kind of sucks um which is why you know boss fights normally happen uh in the kind of spaces they do like, can i home into the right no i can't home into the right one i don't want to throw myself in the house so i'm just gonna wait for your oh i thought they were exploding by themselves because i saw explosions and man i you end up getting hit, you lose your rings. Oh, they're all gone. Cool. So now I can blow this guy up. Yeah, there we go. The homing attack is very powerful and good since, you know, you can you can just jump at an enemy, you know, just double jump and it's like, oh, hey, it locked on and now they're dead. Uh, you know, it's, it's convenient, but it also sucks since, like, you know, it's 
homing in on the game's logic. Like, I don't, like, have, like, a reticle to be like, I want to lock on to that one and then home in there. And I, I think I would have loved to see a version of this game that, uh, you know, that, that handled its homing attack differently. Oh, no, that was uh, light speed dash, and I pushed the wrong button trying to light speed dash. Oh, hey, chow, so we can at least go to the chow room. We haven't been finding the three chow boxes uh, per level, which makes me a little sad, especially since I feel like I spend a decent amount of time exploring. Um, but I'm not exploring in ways that really matter. Good old Sonic uh, loop de loop uh, scripted sequence uh, for us to go through. Wait, no, this is this is a light speed dash scenario. If I can figure out where I'm going in regards to this camera, I can because like the control the controls aren't exactly reversed. Oh, there's a seal there. I'm gonna pick up that seal. Uh, because, you know, we got we got to bring something back for Zippy. Oh, God, the controls. Like, being upside down is very confusing. And I can't tell where this thing is and where these, these rings are. Like, the depth perception is, like, getting in my head. I probably don't even, like, need to light speed. Yeah, we don't even need a light speed dash here. But I wanted to do it um, because I could not tell the shape of that room and, like, what was going on there. Also, is Sonic... It's been a little while since we've done a Sonic level. Um, is Sonic going to... Oh, yeah, I forgot Amy was kidnapped. Uh, damn, it's fucked up to think that, like, Eggman doing a murder. Because, um, you know, Eggman, Eggman's kind of like a, a weirdo bad guy. You know, I don't... Kind of, It's kind of like Bowser. Like, you never expect Bowser to murder a person. Like, I guess Robotnik is, like, more, I guess, specifically evil than, um... Than, like, like Bowser. Like, Bowser, you know... Bowser tends to do, like, the, like, kidnapping Peach because he, he love her. Um, as opposed to, like, Robotnik, like, being just a, a bad dude, I guess. Oh, I see. We need to we need to get into uh, this to, like, flip, or not flip, do the somersault through. But those things are in our way. So we need to find something to break those, um, those boxes. So, yeah, here we go. This is what I was thinking. Like, I was assuming we were going to get Sonic's ability to break um, the, uh, the, the gray boxes uh, since, you know, all the others had just gotten that power up, so of course it was Sonic's time uh, to get the power up. Now, these these kinds of power ups, uh, I feel a little strange about, where it's just like, um, you know, oh, there there were bl blocks that you've seen before, um, and the, the the power up is just you are now strong enough to break these kinds of blocks. You know, they always feel good because you know in a video game it's like, oh, I it's a thing I couldn't break, I can break it now. It makes you feel stronger, but it's also you know, kind of like a, kind of a little bit of a lazy power-up, because it's like, oh, yeah, you know, it, it's just like, I can, it's basically just a key in, like, the, like, purest sense of, like, oh, now I can just break these things I couldn't break before. Um, like, I guess if you were to compare it to, like, like a Metroid, like, you get, like, cool jumps, you know, a cool jumping move, something that gives you more mo mobility, or, like, even the, the, like, the beams in that game, like the ice beam and stuff like that, like, sure, you know, they could just make a block that's like, oh, this block can only be destroyed by the ice beam, uh, but, you know, there, there's more interesting applications of it, uh, and I complained about this too in Wario Land 3, um, I'm, a, I'm a big Wario Land boy, of course, um, and Wario Land 3 has that where, like, there were just blocks that you couldn't break until you got um, a certain, uh, you got the garlic power-up that made Wario stronger. And then all of a sudden he could break blocks he couldn't previously. Like it's not bad. Um, like like I said, like it's like the easiest dopamine hit of oh yes, I, my characters become stronger. But like you know, I I, I tend to prefer like more in interesting power-ups that change the game in a more meaningful way. Um, like like the bounce that we got. The bounce bounce is like a cool move. Like it doesn't add a terrible amount. Um, but it, you know, it's still it's still a neat move. It's it's fun. It is fun. Like, at the end of the day, at the very least, it's a very fun, cool move that's something different, uh, and I appreciate that. Um, whereas, you know, the Fire Somersault, it looks neat, and it's, obviously, its applications are uh, useful. Um, oh, there's, like, a bear. I don't know what that purple thing is. Uh, it looks like a bear of some sort. Maybe it's, like, a, a sun bear? I, yeah, I think sun bears are the, the black ones with, like, the, the white, like, crest mark thing. I just had to wait for him to put his shield up, so, or put his shield down. What is this voice? Are we invincible? It's like making like the invincibility music, and I can't can't interact with this thing. I must have picked up an invincibility and didn't notice it because it played the invincibility song. I thought it was like 
theme of this room is also like the invincibility music, which is a little strange. Yeah, I do not remember Crazy Gadget at all. Um, Sonic, I, I think I remember Sonic's like level 16. Oh, we got a, a hundred rings and it gave us a life. That's nice. Um, which way is the gravity? So the gravity's gonna drop us. Oh, I need to bounce. That's what I need to do. I need to bounce over this so we can, yeah. I don't know why that confused me there, but I was like, do we need to flip around to the other side of the thing? But no, we just needed to continue to platform. For some reason, the, the way that, oh, nope, the way the camera was kind of obscured the way I was thinking about that. Damn, we had so many rings. Uh, that would have given us a pretty good rank uh, at the end. I guess I'm not too worried about ranks, because I, I don't think, I don't think we're going to 100% this game. This game has, like, a lot to do to 100% it. Like, you have to get, like, you know, all A ranks and um, all the levels. Uh, and then all the levels on top of that have, like, multiple missions to do. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll take a look at, like, the alternate missions, um, but I don't think we'll do all of them, because, uh, like, what are we at now? Like, 15? Excuse me, I think we're at, I think we're at, like, 15 emblems, and there's, like, 180 emblems in this game total. Uh, so I doubt we'll do them all, which is unfortunate, because if you get all the em emblems, there's, like, a cool, like... Uh, I don't know if I should, like, spoil it, but there's, like, a, there's, like, a cool thing you unlock if you get all... The emblems, uh, which would be nice, and I would love to see. I wanted to see it when I first played this game, um, but I don't know. Like, like as you can see, I'm not terribly great at this game, um, and I was even worse at it as a wee lad. Uh, and there's one of these bastards right here. Luckily, we got the homing attack, so we can just wreck shit. Uh, and I don't know which way we need to be going. I feel like there was um, a chow crate on the side of one of these um, at some point. Oh, there was like a capsule that we could have gotten that's a shame um but it's fine um there was like a chow crate on uh on the side of one of these um that i imagine we probably have to backtrack to get to uh or maybe i was just saying things who knows not entirely sure uh oh, i wasn't sure what was happening there if it was gonna like change the gravitational pull or if it was going to continue. i don't know why but for some reason my brain was like uh-oh the, the gravity's about to change oh you can just walk into those I didn't realize you could walk into them. I always thought you had to jump on them. And I, I don't know. It's, it's good good to know we can just walk into it. Um, I, it's, I feel like we're probably coming up on the end of the level soon, right? I hear a lot of lasers. I don't see what's shooting us, which is a little concern. Oh, some of these guys. Um, oh, I would love to kill him because he's just firing lasers everywhere. And I need to be careful because I do not want to lose that purple thing. Don't know entirely what it is, but I want it now because there's a cage over there. It's over here just before we pull a thing and drop down. There's nothing over here. Should we check out what's... Oh, no. Should we check out what's in the cage? Uh, I, we don't have the ability to break the cage, so we might as well just come over here. You know, screw it. I don't want to... I don't want to, like, mess up and have to do a lot of this again because, like, I believe our last checkpoint was before all of this. Um, and this stuff was confusing my brain. I can hear the goal ring, and we can see the goal ring. So it was... Maybe there was a chow box over there, but it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It was like moment of silence was weird. And I'm guessing that was an E rank that felt very slow. I died, lost all those rings. Damn, getting all the rings must be really rough. I think one of the missions is a uh, hundred rings, and I don't know if it means get to the end of the level with a hundred rings or if it means the level ends as soon as you get a hundred. I assume it's like get a hundred rings to the end of the level. Okay, let's feed our, I almost called them delicious children. That's not a way you describe children. Um, I mean, it could be if you're going to eat them, I suppose, but we will not be eating our children. It's like a little, little like sun bear. It's very cute. Um, our, our two children look too similar to each other. So let's, let's rectify this. Let's see. What do we got? Um, we use the weird bear thing last. Uh, let's, get, let's do tiger first and then we'll do seals. Uh, what else? Do we, was it was just the, just the tiger and the seals. I mean, obviously the bear too. Um, for some reason I thought we had more animals. Ooh, you got like big flippers. Those are cool. And that, those like fit like the, the like white and blue that our babies are at the moment. I'm not sure what changed that time. Is that another seal? No, that's the same seal as before. Is that the same seal as before? No, this is a, another seal. And I love... Seals are so cute. Seals are just... Seals are good animals. What? I don't think anything changed that time. Oh! Just straight up got like the, the hands and feet. That's nice. Digging that look. Uh, the the tiger tail doesn't really, well, it doesn't not fit, but you, you understand. It doesn't entirely mesh with the aesthetic uh, that we're going for. 
Uh, but yeah, you know, Zippy, Zippy's starting to look pretty cool. So it's time to feed our baby. Um, you know, I could probably just pay attention to what power-ups, uh, what, what goes up, um, red is power. Like, because before I've just, I've just been collecting these and not really paying attention to what's what, um, which I probably should. But you know, it's not all that important. I really would love to know what to do with this seed. God, you go really high with that bounce. Or maybe just this, this area isn't all that terribly big. Hard to say. Uh-oh, there's only 33 minutes left until, I guess, Eggman shoots he laser and blows it up. So Tails was in the room where he had to put the thing. And then I guess he had to go help Amy was the idea. Maybe he did manage to swap out the, uh, the emeralds. This weird, like, heroic music is very strange. I mean, I guess it's... That's a whole big gun! So why does he even... Like, well, mm, I was about to say, like, he has a gun on his thing. He doesn't really need that. But I guess he has to point his gun at uh, at them. And then he has his big fuck-off gun uh, for it. I didn't see his mouth move, but I feel like Sonic just said that out loud. So what, what was Tails doing? Tails made it to the... The engine and he was gonna put the emerald in but then they had to like change of plans go meet Eggman you turned into a big time villain, doctor. yeah is this is this like a, a big big thing for for Eggman like you know like I said I haven't played a lot of Sonic games but like he like kidnaps animals and puts them in things oh no he knew about the fake emerald <laughs> he just immediately like he just immediately, like, admits it. That's so good. Tails is, like, surprised to face. He's just like, oh. Like, like, what What would Eggman done if Tails hadn't, like, immediately given up the ghost and be like, wait, what are you, fake emeralds? Why do they, why do they even call them emeralds? They're not green. I mean, I'm guessing the idea is they wanted a name for a gem and look for some, um, what do you, what is a Synonyms? Yes, I think synonyms. The the, the the thesaurus one, which is what I was gonna say before I remembered remembered the name of it. Oh, is there a shard of the master emerald in there, or is that just some reused uh thing? He's only seen Shadow do Chaos Control once at this point, right? Or just does uh, Sonic or does Shadow use Chaos Control uh, during their their fight as well? Not entirely sure. But, uh, spoilers, I think that's what happens here. I think he does Chaos Control and it lets him warp? What is Chaos Control? I thought Chaos Control stopped time. I thought that's what it did. That's what I remember in my brain it doing. But maybe it warps you. Yeah, because I think they use Chaos Control in 06 to travel through time. I guess Chaos Control just does whatever it needs to do. It's one of those. Oh, is Tails going to fight Eggman? I'm guessing that's what's about to happen. Oh, yeah, we fight Eggman again. Ooh, I like the red on that. I still... I am not entirely into the legs on it. Actually, no, actually, I take it back. With the big, chunky legs, this his mech looks much better than it did previously. Uh, this, this is decidedly a huge improvement for you, Eggman. Very into this. Um, oh, he's doing a special attack, too. But he, he did it, like, twice in a row, so let's just run. Uh, I assume as long as we run, we'll dodge a thing with him so we can hit him. Um, and there's actually no rings in here uh, that I can see. That's actually very interesting. Like... I'm, oh, he, he died. Um, so it is nice to know that Tails can just... T uh, the mech-like gameplay is entirely health-based. The rings don't matter. Um, also fun that we didn't figure that out until the last time we played as Tails, I'm guessing. Because I think I feel some think there's 16 energy. levels. I, I very minorly looked into it to make sure like I could split up episodes right. Okay, so Chaos Control warps you then? It does whatever, you know, if it, it warps you, time travels, it doesn't matter. It, it does what it needs to do. You get an emerald, and then Sonic and Shadow can do things with... Oh, whoops, kicked my router. Um, it does what it needs to. I wonder, so is, is Chaos Control a thing that anyone can learn to do with an emerald? Or is it, like, for some reason, like, Sonic and Shadow are special? I'm guessing it's the kind of thing that we would learn uh, in the dark story, if it matters which it, it probably doesn't oh hell yeah hell yes now that's what i want to hear i want to slam dunk an emerald in a thing <laughs> knuckles is just oh, okay whatever a uh, final rush this this is the level i remember uh sonic doing i i remember final rush i remember 
dying a whole hell of a lot in Final Rush. Because uh, it's like an entirely like grinding base level. And I remember this giving me a lot of trouble. Because like I said, and like you have probably noticed, um, you know, the homing attack can be a little janky. The entire game is a little janky. So trying to switch rails and like homing attack onto them sometimes doesn't work the way you would want it to. I feel like they kind of figured this out a little better with a future Sonic games. With I should talk to Elmo Chow just in case he has something important to say. Press the A stick and you want to Oh, 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 that is in this game. Okay. Uh, like, I didn't remember if you could do that, that um, like, rail switching in this game. Uh, I, I remember it in, like, uh, Sonic Colors uh, and Heroes and future Sonic games. I didn't realize they had the, the uh, rail switching uh, in this game. Um, God, that wobbly noise is really... I wonder... I shouldn't jump down there, but I feel like you can just jump straight down to the bottom of this this area and be fine. Um, I'm trying to remember if it's, if it's Sonic Adventure 1 or 2. I, I think it's 2. I remember seeing a clip of a speed run where someone, like... Um, like in this level where they just jump down and then like aim for um i i just felt that that wasn't me trying to do something cool um oh hey there was a chow box here i'm glad that we came back um the uh the, what, what am i trying to say the um the, the thing like they, they just jump like and fall straight to the end um i might be thinking of something in sonic adventure one though but i mean you know whatever they're they're both I was about to say they're both the same game. They, they very much aren't. I spent a lot of the first episode uh, airing my my grievances with uh, some of the changes uh, in this game. I wanted to get these rings, because why not? Because, um, you know, I, I like the overworld portion of Sonic Adventure 1. Like, it's not, like, super de duper de great or anything, but I think I think the overworld stuff is neat. Um, oh, shit. I just totally missed it at, right at the end. Damn, I'm, I'm bad at this. Uh, oh, we only have five lives. I guess I did lose a lot of lives uh, in that one Tails level uh, Eternal Engine. Uh, and we did we did die as um, as Nucky. Uh, where's this going? Oh, this just knocks you into the, uh, the, the the spring pad, so you don't have to like guess. I should probably just play the level instead of trying to like jump down there and get it. Um, we could probably do it, especially if we um, saved our um, homing attack. If we save the homing attack, the homing attack should lock on to the, um, the rails. It should be fine to just jump down there and then, like, home in on it. But honestly, it's probably not even that far uh, for something that I'm probably going to die a whole bunch of times. Also, you have the option to crouch on um, on the the uh, on the rail. I don't entirely know what it does. I think it speeds you up. Oh, there's a, there's a pipe here. Give me a, a ram. That's, that's fine. Um, I say that's fine. I, I really enjoy the ram. It's just, you know... I don't want uh, I don't want uh, Zippy to get uh, ram horns since we already have a beautiful child with ram horns, uh, and I would actually love to get like those penguin eyebrows. Although I guess we did just get that that cool like phoenix like head feathered tuft, which is pretty good. Oh wait, there's something down there. I want to take the rocket. Wait, what is this over here? Oh, it's just a ring. There's probably something probably something behind us. I was like, eh, whatever. There's something behind us. But no, we ca we care about this stuff. We're going back to get that that uh, peacock, you know, because the peacock was cool. And now we have the peacock. Because uh, I would love to give Zippy some wings. Because wings are cool. And, you know, the wings, honestly, are... Oh, hey, there's a lot of, like, um, capsules there if you were if you were brave enough to go for them. Which I'm not. So, thinking about this level, I, this is a very memorable level. Like, I, I remember, like, playing this. I God, I, I, I even remember where I was when I played this level. Um, I don't know why it, it's as memorable as it is, but I don't know if I like this level because I, I don't find the, the the grinding, you know, for the most part is, you know, we just sit here and wait uh, and then every once in a while we can do something. I don't feel grinding works as like an entire level concept. Like it feels like there needs to be like grinding can be mixed with other stuff to make it interesting. Um, like, you know, just a few grinding segments in a level. Um, I mean, I guess it also depends on, like, in, I guess I'm specifically also talking about the context of this game, because, like, you know, there's, like, on-rail games. Um, I'll take the blue one, sure, if I can break through. Um, there's, like, on-rail, oh, this is cool, I'm glad I took the blue one. Um, on-rail games where you're basically just grinding down, like, a path. Um, like, I, I really love uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, uh, and I, I mean, that, that has, like, the two sections, like, the overworld sections, and then, like, the on rail shooting sections and that's that's not exactly what i'm talking about because uh, that's an entirely different uh, gameplay style 
Um, but they're, they're like grinding sections in the overworld um, thing. And I feel like there's one level that's all like, um, uh, it's like, it's, God, I, I don't even remember what the, the level is. It's been too long since I played that game. But I, I remember it's, I think it's one of the Orem Hives, actually. Um, there's a lot of grinding in the level, and there's like, you know, stuff you have to shoot to like switch the, the rails you're on. Um, just, you know, there's more stuff to do like while you're grinding. It kind of imposes like a time limit and like, you know, having to pay attention to where you're going. Whereas in this one, you know, for the most part, once you're on a rail, you just kind of let it go and it just takes you where you need to go. I mean, I guess that, that there's a lot of that in Sonic where it's just like, oh, you know, you just run in a direction and then you're, you're good. Um, and maybe that's just me doing... I have, a, I have a real bad habit of, like, just totally boiling down th things and concepts until it's like, oh, well, of course, you know, it's just this. It's not even fun. Um, and you can apply that to everything, and I have a bad habit of applying it to everything. And it's like, it totally misses out on stuff. Like, like when you think about... And this is going to be, like, super... Uh, consumerist, I guess, but when you think about buying stuff, like, when I think about, like, oh, I'm gonna buy myself, like, a cool uh, anime figure of, of, of the pretty animes, it's like, well, I'm just gonna put it on a shelf and then look at it from time to time. I don't, like, it doesn't, no, wait, there's there's a thing back there. I want the thing. Thank you for the thing. Um, seeing there's, there's some birds in there, which will give us more chance to give Zippy cool wings. Um, so it's like, you know, buying the thing, like, it doesn't change. Like like I was saying, with power-ups, it oh, doesn't change the game in a meaningful way. But... Then you have a cool thing, and it's like... It's it's like... I, I can't believe I tried to connect those two thoughts. It's like, in my head, it feels like it works, but also it feels like very uh, nebulous connection. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just a weird thing where it's like you, you just think about something until you start to boil it down uh, too far, and then it's like, wait, no, this isn't... You've gone too far. You've forgotten human emotion. Sometimes you just you just eat a thing and it's good. Yeah, like like that. That's actually a good um, example, I guess. Like like with food. Like you know, assuming that all food, um, you know, if you're just like, oh well, if you ignore taste, then you can just eat the best, the food that is best for you, and that's what matters but then you're ignoring the taste and the taste is what matters and maybe that's what what's interesting about sonic games i mean it's, it's interesting about video games but maybe sonic's more about the taste than the uh i i'm i think this the point i'm making i think it's so gone i don't think don't think i'm landing the point i'm trying to make at all but you know sonic games pretty pretty simple for i mean i guess it depends from 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 game to game um some games you know better designed better games than others um sonic adventure 2 uh you know it's it's very janky it's 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 not great but i'm having a good time with it it, it is a fun game it, it's at least a fun game uh i probably would have uh i don't know why this grind rail like you hit it and you're going so slow um and i tried to speed up i keep trying to speed it up and just falling off so i'll just chill and let it speed up on its own um uh, but I, I, you know, this game is beloved. Uh, people, people love the Sonic Adventure 2. Um, I, I, I would have loved to uh, revel more in the cutscenes. Um, but then I, in the, so in the failed first recording, uh, when it came cutscene time, I actually just shut up and watched it. Um, but then it was also a little weird because there was like stuff I wanted to like, you know, like something funny happens. Like, oh, I'm, I want to laugh at that, or oh, I want to talk about this. Uh, but then it's kind of hit a point where it's like. I'm not, oh, not entirely even watching the, the cutscene all that much anymore. Um, now I'm like talking over it and I guess, you know, probably missed some story stuff. Uh, it, I mean, it's Sonic Adventure 2, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, and I feel like um, probably if I, if we, once we do Dark Story, a lot of it will probably mesh together and I'll understand things that I didn't previously understand. Um, cause it, it's, it's not a complicated story. Like I just didn't realize, you know, that Eggman got the big laser thing. And for some reason, my mind didn't put together, oh, he gonna use laser to blow up world. Like that doesn't entirely make sense on, on Eggman's part, like world where he live. Like, I mean, I guess he has this cool space colony so he could blow up and go like, haha, I'm the bad guy. I did the bad guy thing. And why are we not getting up here? Maybe I need to do a spend dash to get some speed. Don't ever use the spend dash. And Oh, it, it did 
give us the speed we needed to get up here, I guess. So it all worked out. All good in the hood. I, well, I was going to make it. Oh, why did I do that? No, why did I do... I was like, oh, I should jump for that thing. And it just... I guess this is why I die so, so, uh, died so many times in this level as a wee lad. Because I see something think, oh, I should jump for it. And then just end up rocking myself off into space hell. Um, when did I, I feel like I mentioned space hell in another LP recently, but I don't remember what, when it was. Um, it's, it's probably whichever one was the last one, which would have been Virtual Boy Warrior Land. Will that give us... Yeah, that gave us enough speed to get up there. And this time I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to... Why did you do that roll? I didn't push a button. Um, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to take, take the orange one this time, uh, just for shits and gigs. Um, oh my god, I don't remember the point I was making uh, initially. I just remember the, um, the... the I died died a lot in this, and I, I understand why now, because I, I think just my personality, I see something, I'm like, oh, I, I take a shortcut and jump for it, uh, and then I end up dying, um, which is why you should never take shortcuts, kids. You should always take the long way home like that one song that we we all know and enjoy i do like super champ i think super champ's a fun band um i'm mean, not i don't know if you have album so, so oh there's a thing back there. oh there's a few things that are like boxes uh, i'm not entirely sure so like yeah this this level hasn't really done what the hell um i just didn't make it was i supposed to jump maybe i was supposed to jump um we're almost out of lives which is getting a little scary um I assume when we run out of lives, we have to uh, start the entire level all over again. Uh, I mean, that, it's a video game. That's how they, they tend to work. I was trying to... In my brain, I, I was like, oh, I should spin dash onto that. Uh, uh, oop, didn't work out, which is fine. Oh, we got a penguin. Um, didn't we have a cool animal that I was excited about uh, that we overwrit? I I don't know. Maybe that was last level. Uh, there's some like, boxes up there and shit. I, I would have liked to have uh, gotten those boxes. I don't feel like this level isn't oh i i jumped i jumped early that time like trying to preemptively like make it onto that thing and then it just totally damned me um yep. this time let's let's come over here there's a rocket we'll take the rocket and see where it goes instead of butts around uh, seems to take us to an extra life how convenient and if i don't know if extra lives in this game um respawn like if the capsules uh like now that we've opened it it's considered open and won't be there on the next time oh shit a power up and we almost missed it. Mystic Melody. Change to Mystic Melody action window. Mysterious Melodies. Is that... How do I... Action window? Is that... Is that just like whenever we like do a thing? Is this the Mystic Melody? Mystic Melody. Oh, and he's playing an instrument. It was just like a laser. Oh, I thought this would warp us. Nothing is hap... Okay, well, I guess... I guess I just put this here to... Oh, something did... What, what do you mean? Something happened. Rings appeared. Or maybe those had always been there, and I just wasn't paying attention. Another life. So, cool. We got the Mystic Melody. Um, is Mystic Melody... I, I, we've seen those those um, those little altar things. No, damn it. I, for some reason, thought we could uh, jump over that other one. Um, uh, we've seen Mystic Melody in uh, other characters' levels, so Mystic Melody must be like... Oh, god damn. Why did I do that? Um... Must be an optional power up uh, that you can use for things. Uh, so, oh hey, oh, okay, I saw the capsule up here and I was like, oh nice, we found a one up grinding spot, so we won't die. Uh, but unfortunately, the one up, one up wasn't real. It went away, and I'm just gonna go ahead and come down here. Uh, can we? I was like, oh, we we should swap to this other rail, but that other rail just immediately ends. Right. So what are, what are we going to do here? I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get off here because we keep dying at the other spot. And I'm trying to figure out a way that we can avoid going to that, that same rail again. Uh, no, is this the same? This is the same freaking rail. I thought this was a different one. Okay, I'm just going to hold. Okay, I, I held up on the stick that time. And that gave us the speed we needed uh, to get across. It wasn't that complicated. I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. Because like I said, that's Sonic's famous power is is doing that thing. Oh, nope, nope, I, don't ha I didn't have a uh, homing attack. Uh, I guess you just enter states where like your humming attacks like disabled. Like after, you, well, I was gonna say after you use a humming attack, you can't immediately use it again, but you can. And they design enemies those um those the the chaos like enemies that drop like all the little like water babies on the ground. Like, they literally design enemies that are like just designed so you can use humming attack a whole bunch of times, and it's cool and fun. I'm holding up on the stick, so we were able to not die. And I do not know why they are giving us all these boxes. Uh, not boxes. Uh, yeah, boxes. Those boxes on the ground. What the hell's the deal with them? 
I'm not not entirely sure, but you know it's fine. So I assume we're getting towards the end of the level. Like we've been in this level for a while, um, and I'm just gonna pick blue again. I I don't know. Oop, can I, yeah. Oh, that was that was a weird hallway. Oh, are we gonna run across the the wall? Oh, yeah, we're actually running across the wall. I messed it up uh, in the first episode in City Escape. But we're actually running down the. Oh, we were, we were running down the wall properly for a second, but then I wanted to run around instead of just holding down on the stick ran into the wall and it was bad and there's the goal oh thank god <laughs> we've made it to the end of level with three rings so e rank a baby for us and that was the last level of the hero story which means we're about to go into the the hero final boss and i remember the hero final boss killing me a whole bunch of times too um hopefully getting a game over there Let's you start at the boss. I assume it will, since we're you know about to go to Chow World, to be wild for it to like, oh no, and then kick us back out to um, I almost say crazy gadget um, final rush. Is having to do final rush again probably wouldn't go great for me. I love I love that this Chow just loves being up here. Uh, Zippy, I don't know. I'm sorry, I called you this Chow instead of your name. Um, no, I, I I do not want you to worry, buddy. But I'm also just trying to pick you up. Um, because, you know, Zippy was born up there, and it's very cute that Zippy likes being up there. I enjoy it. Um, I don't want to get rid of Zippy's cool arms. So maybe we shouldn't risk it. Oh, is Zippy happy to see us? Zippy's happy to see Or maybe Zippy's just going somewhere and I was in the way. Oh, did Zippy pick up fruit? I didn't know they could feed themselves. I thought you had to feed them. Huh. Okay, well, I'll let you do your thing. I We didn't get very many vials for your brother anyway, so it'll be fine. Sharon's just chilling. Uh, Sharon has no stamina. I wonder if uh, there aren't any stamina chaos drives and that's entirely uh, an animal thing or if we just haven't been getting them. Yeah, maybe maybe we just haven't been getting them. So maybe I've been wasting uh, all these power-ups on Sharon that we should have just been giving Zippy since, you know, Sharon's kind of become our, our like, aesthetic child um, as opposed to, like, actually doing stuff. But I mean, we're also very pretty happy with the the look that we're starting to go with Sharon. I would just like to get them a better tail and wings. I like this look. The green and purple. Green and purple. My favorite colors. Kind of don't want to mess with Sharon's look anymore. I, I don't know. But I also want to power up the babies because our babies are going to need to be much, much stronger for the, um, the Chow games. Maybe, maybe we'll figure that out later. Uh, still not sure what's happening with the seed. Maybe more time needs to pass. I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe we need the other gardens to make it work. I guess it's not too important. I'll, I'll look into some... I'll actually do some chow research so we can make some progress with the chows at some point because I would like to do chow game stuff. Only five minutes left, and this is, will be our, our final confrontation for the hero story. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. Holy shit, do they not know each other's names? You know, I, fe can I, say? I, die hard. I feel like Shadow uh, uh, introduced himself. Uh, but I don't feel like Sonic was ever like, I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. But Shadow probably knows who Sonic is. It's weird to hear early Shadow. Like, you know, Shadow's become, like, a little more, like, gruff. Like, oh, yeah. Sh like, he isn't all the way there. But, you know, this, this Shadow voice is a bit softer. That's what I'm trying to say. Is it, this, this Shadow voice is just a little softer than what he's become. But, you know, it's, it's the first uh, thing as as a you know f first game with them you know figuring out the voice etc etc and they probably changed voice actors as well i assume um but yeah this fight this fight i don't remember if it's good but it's great i love that like beginning like like we're we're, we're racing each other this is cool as hell and then we just gotta like home in on each other right <laughs> right i'm not even doing anything at this point i was just i was just home homing attacking hoping oh he's doing chaos control uh and it did uh, it did a thing and it was scary and now we're ahead of him but i don't entirely want to be ahead of him because we need to get behind him if we're going to do our attack oh and the rings coming out made me scared that i had messed up can we attack him again no it doesn't seem like we're close enough to yeah we weren't like close enough to get him i don't think i'm not sure at what times we're able to attack him but yeah him losing rings keeps scaring me that i'm the one who's losing rings yeah, so I don't know if this boss fight's good, but it's I, it's pretty iconic, and, and like, it, you know, like, I love just the beginning of the fight, them just kind of, like, shooting the shit, like, and the build-up with, with them running. It's very nice, it's very cool, uh, and, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing that, you know, people, people love this game for a reason. 
Um, it's, it's cool, and Shadow is murdering me. I need Shadow to warp ahead of me, uh, because with him behind me, he's the one who's going to continuously get attacks off on me. Um, I don't know if I should be conserving the rings. Like, I assume this is in an endless hallway. Um, I don't know if the rings will respawn um, whenever like new areas are loaded, so maybe I shouldn't be picking up all the rings. Oh yeah, I can light speed attack. I should think about that. Light speed attack uh, to... Well, that's going to put me ahead of him, and I do not want to be ahead of Shadow. Um, but it's good for catching up to Shadow so I can attack him. And I can just hammer. That is also a good point. I could also just hammer um, homing attack and hope for the best. I guess we'll just run for the time being so he can get ahead of us, and we can attack. I'll hammer the, the attack button, and eventually I might... Oh, nope, he, he, he won that time. So let's get out of here, let's be dash. I remember dying a lot of times to this. I wonder if I was just incredibly really bad at this game. Or maybe there's a phase two of this boss fight that's about to happen. Because so far this hasn't been that bad. And yeah, we, we, we've defeated him. Is, is that really it? I also like him like croaking out the ultimate life form of Sonic cuts him off. I mean, of course, that's kind of been their thing. Their, their voice clips overlapping a whole lot. So is that it? Is that the final boss? Because that's all I remember um, from the story. <laughs> I love that guy just laying, just fucking on the ground. Tails Sonic, just... I did it. I killed Eggman. Amy looks so sad. Oh, I guess because they still think Sonic's dead. Yeah. They, they didn't know that Sonic was still alive. So they had they had the, the yellow emerald. Um, they had the real one and a fake one, I believe. Because uh, Tails showed it off earlier at some point. So we beat Shadow, the laser's about to fire, but I assume we, we oh yeah, we, we stopped it because, um, I forgot, because Sonic was going to slam dunk the emerald into the cannon, and because he slam dunked the fake one into there, it made it blow up, and now the heroes win. I really do love uh, the, the Eggman face on Space Colony Arc, on oh, just Sonic just chilling out there. That's not safe. I don't know... If there's oxygen out there, is that just the end? It just ends just like that? Yeah. I got the achievement hero, and now we, we get the the credits. So that was the hero, uh, hero mode, hero story, story was the word I was looking for, of Sonic Adventure. Very interesting, like, the game's, I, I'm not going to say it's bad. It's not great, but, like, just playing it again, like, I totally get why people love this game. You know, it's it is fun. Um, the cutscenes are, are very like silly. Um, some of them can be a bit long in the tooth, um, and then some of them move very quickly. Um, God, that that uh, spaceship cutscene where where tail I assume tails was piloting the spaceship just fucking crashes the spaceship into the uh, tiny chow garden um, into the into the asteroid. It was very funny. Um, yeah, it's it's a fun game. I enjoyed a lot. Uh, it's a bit lame, like I already talked about this, a bit lame that they're less like gameplay styles from the other one, but I feel like they really did like, well, let's pick the ones that are good and focus on them, even if they manage to make Knuckles like gameplay worse in the process, which is wild because it's such a just a small change and it's such just a little change, like not being able to hunt. I mean, you can find them obviously, but you know, not getting the, the warning for all the emeralds at once. I wonder if that was like a sound thing, like, oh, having all these things beep at once if they're too close uh, was annoying or something. I, I don't know. Uh, very strange. Um, you know, Tail Sucks uh, segments are fine. Uh, rest in peace, uh, E01. E102 Gamma. Uh, but yeah, fun, fun game. Um, I wonder how much... Oh, God, that's a good, it's a good uh, clip. Uh, honestly, I guess the only, the only uh, gameplay style I really miss is, is Amy being able to play as her, and she's playable in the two-player. Um... So I guess it's not entirely lost. So that's that's it. It's we're done. We're, we're not actually done. We're gonna do Dark Story, of course, and maybe there's even more. Um, just playing through this game though. When I started this Let's Play, I wasn't sure if I was gonna go for the hundred percent. Um, I don't think we will. We'll probably look at some of the the other stuff. Um, and if we do, if for whatever reason I change my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, let's let's hundred percent this game so we can see the cool like um, all em emblem. Uh, secret thing I don't think we'll do it immediately it might be a thing we'll put off for a while so that, that's that's all I'm gonna say about that I don't know how much is left in this credits the things popping up the, the uh, pictures are from the end of the game so assuming we're near the end I'm not sure if they'll have an additional uh, like here are the PC 
uh, version credits or something. But yeah, it was a fun game. Dark story next time. Uh, maybe we'll figure out more stuff about the world of the Chows. And we have 17 emblems. And there are 180 emblems in this game. Because each level has, you know, uh, five things. And then there's, you know, emblems for, like, the the uh, Chow stuff. And then there's, like, the time attack that I just said. And I assume that there's emblems for the cart mode. Man steals the research from a military base located on an island to the south. The military's top secret weapon, Shadow. Sealed in the space colony park. The Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, World Conquest will be at hand. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Uh, it's just like a little advertisement to lead you into the dark version of the story. Like, hey, you're not done with the game. There is more for you to do. Uh, just in case pe people were like, no, I, I beat the game, I'm out, bye. Um, no, they're just letting you know that there is more. Uh, so, yeah, now we have a boss stage. So, next time we'll begin the dark story. And maybe I'll, I'll I'll look a little into the Chow stuff so we can maybe make some progress with our Chows because they've kind of stagnated in the last few episodes. Maybe there's something specific I need to do that I'm not doing. Maybe I need to, to um, take them to the Chow Kindergarten. Oh, shit! There's a doctor. Maybe they got sick. They've been sleeping a lot. Uh-oh. See y'all next time. <laughs>